Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make some uh, artisan style bread using our new creme de la bain, which is made with spelt flour instead of rye. This is um, giving us a different flavour profile to the creme de la bain that you may be familiar with. But we're going to be doing overnight fermentations. One with a very, very small amount of yeast and one with no yeast at all. So this recipe is for the overnight bulk fermentation and this recipe has no yeast in it. So we're relying on the fermentation capacity of the lye sourdough, the temple of the spelt, for the leavening purposes. So in this instance, the dough is going to be fermented overnight at warm temperatures of 25 degrees. So there's the flour, we need some salt, there's the spelt flour, Again, the flavour, the creme de la bain, and the water. And again, three minutes on slow speed, three minutes on fast. So I'm going to take this out of here, in the fermentation box, and then that's going to go in 24 to 25 degrees for 18 hours. Right, so um, I'm going to start this morning with the overnight uh, dough that's been fermenting with no yeast. So it's been fermenting at 24 to 25 degrees overnight. And remember, no yeast in this, so all of the fermentations come from the sourdough. So we should be scaling this off now, and then it will have a long ambient fermentation. So I've got quite small valetons here, so I'm going to scale this at 500 grams. You'll see that the texture in this is quite fragile, so we need to be careful about how we handle this. So we don't compromise the texture of the finished bread. I'll give this a gentle mould. Fifteen minutes. So now we're just going to give this another shape and put it in the bantons, ready for proving. Again, we don't want to be too rough with it, but we do need to make a nice shape. seam on top. So these have been um, fermenting now for about just shy of three hours at yeah, the ambient temperature and then are ready to go in to the oven. Um, the, remember this dough has not any yeast in it at all, this is all the fermentation of the sourdough. You can see that it's fermenting because we've got some nice bubbles showing around the edge of the burn of these, so this is ready to go in. That's before, we'll just keep the cuts in to encourage the burst. And again, we'll go to the oven hot and then reduce the temperature after the steam has gone in. These loaves have a beautiful burst on the well-developed crust and the aroma is typical of spelt, being earthy and nutty. The texture inside is typical of a sourdough loaf with an uneven structure and a waxy finish. The earthy and nutty notes from the aroma have come through in the flavour and are well balanced with the acidity. Bon appétit!